Howdy, Sam from Flipping Science, looking at photosynthesis and aerobic respiration. So here's some diagrams showing some key processes in both the carbon and the oxygen cycle. So in the carbon cycle you have carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it gets incorporated into organisms and then released back into the atmosphere through respiration. If we look at the oxygen cycle we can see similar things happening. So we get um, oxygen being absorbed in respiration and then being emitted back out in photosynthesis. So what this means is both cycles are joined where we have photosynthesis here and here and where we have respiration here and here. So that means that photosynthesis and respiration are very uh, interconnected in terms of global cycles, but uh, they're also interconnected in organisms. So in photosynthesis, uh, sugar is produced and we eat that sugar, and then we break down that sugar in respiration and release the energy from it. So let's look at photosynthesis first. Um, it's a process where plants and other photosynthetic organisms take in carbon dioxide and water and turn it into glucose and oxygen, and that process is called photosynthesis. Photo is light, synthesis means making. So that tells you that light is used to run this process. There's a compound called chlorophyll, which exists in plants' leaves, that um, helps to run this process. It's not as simple as this. There's many, many steps involved, but simplified, this is the, uh, what the reaction is. So you need to be able to regurgitate this. So 6CO2 plus 6H2O goes to C6H12O6 plus 6O2. Um, it takes 2,880 kilojoules of solar energy to produce one mole of glucose. And I'm saying it's required to be produced, so that tells us it's an endothermic process. So light energy comes in, and that's providing the energy to run this. So photosynthesis is endothermic. The glucose that's produced from photosynthesis is handy because the plants can use it to produce particular compounds, and then we can use those particular compounds as well. So here is starch. Um, it's made up of several glucoses to join together. So that's a polysaccharide, we call it, because each of these rings we call a saccharide ring. Uh, two is a disaccharide, one is monosaccharide three or more is poly. So starch is how plants uh, store their chemical potential energy. So uh, when we're eating a vegetable, we're eating the starch storage part of a plant. So it might be the leaves, it might be the roots, um, that's what we're eating. Cellulose is different. Um, cellulose is still glucose, but they're just joined in a different way. And plants use uh, cellulose to make things like cell walls. Um, paper is made out of cellulose. Uh, the oxygen produced from photosynthesis is handy because that's what we breathe. Um, and there's a relationship between the photosynthesis and respiration that we've talked about where um, a gas is being produced and then a gas is being absorbed and that way it maintains a steady level. Um, photosynthesis is also very handy for removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So one idea of uh, removing carbon from the atmosphere to reduce the effects of the enhanced greenhouse effect um, is to grow lots of trees, cut down the trees and bury them, grow lots of trees, cut down the trees and bury them, and that way you're taking carbon from the atmosphere storing it in plants and then burying the plants so that uh, they don't break down, they don't release the carbon dioxide again. So now we'll look at aerobic respiration. Aerobic means with air. Um, so this is where you're breaking down glucose using oxygen and producing carbon dioxide and water. So if you notice, it's the exact reverse uh, equation. So the glucose is being burnt in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Again, it's a multi-step process. There's lots of steps involved, but we can simplify it down to this. In this case, uh, so the equation is C6H2O6 plus 6O2 goes to 6CO2 plus 6H2O. Um, it's important to note that this time 2,880 kilojoules of energy is being produced when one mole of glucose is burnt. So this is an exothermic process. When you're burning the glucose, you're producing energy. And that energy can be used to run cellular processes and also keeps us warm. So that's what's keeping us at our 37.5 degrees Celsius internally in our bodies. The carbon dioxide produced from respiration is released into the atmosphere and again we get that balance between the carbon dioxide being absorbed from photosynthesis and um, emitted in respiration. Um, and it also removes oxygen from the atmosphere. The oxygen isn't as much of a uh, concern as carbon dioxide is. The levels of oxygen in the atmosphere is fairly stable. So like I said before, most of the questions you'll get about this is just simply regurgitating one or the other of the equations. So here's a question from an exam. Growing animal feed involves the process of photosynthesis. Write an equation. So equation for photosynthesis, we had it before. So 6CO2 plus 6H2O goes to 
C6H12O6 plus 6O2, and there we go. So, today on Physical Science, we looked at uh, aerobic respiration and photosynthesis. That's it for the science today. See ya. Uh -huh.